Hey guys, so um, today's project will be a recycle of last year's attempt. Um, my husband um, last year cut out this um, wooden door hanger that says fall with the pumpkin replacing the A. So it's F pumpkin LL. And I worked on, I did several of them last year. Um, and I worked on this one and I just never really got it the way that I liked it. And so I thought that that's what I would work on in this video so that I could get this done in time to hang up in my house. Um, so let me gather supplies and we'll get started. Okay, I'm back. Let's see, we are going to start off with um, recovering this with a white. So, let me get a brush. I'm going to just use this chip brush. We're going to cut the little feathers off. Here. Okay, so I cut the little feathers off and we're gonna just do this, and so hopefully it gets rid of all the loose ones. Grab my plate, give my paint a good shake. see if this music that I have going on in the background is going to flag the the copyright of this video let's see what's playing it says jazz in the background um, not sure which one is playing oh moonlight in Vermont so I thought that would help with uh, some of the dead moments when I'm not talking. And I'm not looking to put like a, a great coverage on this. I just want to, last year I tried to put buffalo plaid print on this and I don't know why I could not get it to ever it just never turned out the way that I wanted it to. And so I painted over it and then I just never circled back to this. So, and it's pretty big. It is probably 20 inches by 16 inches. And I gave my, I drew out a pattern for my husband and he cut this on the jigsaw. Um, we're really saving up for a CNC, um, something to cut the wood in all of these fun shapes, so, but that is a down the road, like I said, we're going to save up for it. I'll probably do um, half Posca pins on this and half paint. Just really want to get these 
this little area is covered. I tried to this little darker areas. Yeah, I was trying to do I think I tried to do buffalo plaid and polka dots and stripes. That may have been what it was. It may have just turned out a little bit too busy. I don't, I really cannot recall what the issue was. I think by the time I was getting ready to work on it again, um, it was going more into the winter and I was having to change my door hanger from fall to winter, Christmassy anyway. Okay. There. That is better. I'm going to hit this with some air real quick. Speed this process up. sketch out some lines here so this is the top of the L and this is the bottom of the F okay and then we have <coughs> going to bring so how this one comes out here I'm going to bring this one out round this one off there and then I think I'm just going to bring the bottom, let's see, I think I'm bring the bottom of the pumpkin like this, and this would be the letter, I think that's what my idea was, and then over here, I'm actually going to come down for the F. Alright, now I do like the thought of having stripes on this, so I'm going to draw out some stripes. Um, let's find, I want to make sure that they're straight. you can see there's like little X's on here and that's going to be and then I'm just going to do this whatever that measures out to so we got that move it down I think it's about an inch district skills here. <laughs> this is about as much as I can do with my left hand. Alright. Okay. 
so so excited we went and bought our RV yesterday for my birthday it was my birthday yesterday I turned 50 years old I cannot believe that I am actually 50 when I was younger it just seemed like 50 was such an old age um, and so here I am I'm now 50 alright so we are going to paint um, so I'm going to do black and white stripes on this I am going to do a green on this so this is going to be green no I want it this will be the orange this is going to be black and white this will be green and then this will be kind of a a tan color I think and so um, since this is going to be the orange let's go ahead and get that started but yeah so we bought turn our jazz down a little bit let's see what's playing right now um, it is rainy mix so we went and bought the RV at Camping World. And it was such a wonderful experience. That was, it was, they were the nicest people. So. this yellow in with the orange and then I may have to tone it down a little bit oh I meant to mix these in a mixing cup um, let's put a little bit of unbleached Titanium in it. Mm. All right, we're going to put some red in it. Pumpkin orange, there we go. Alright. These paints out of the way. I'm just gonna use this brush. Pieces 
so this is going to be black and white and I said we're going to make that green so let's I'm going to put out let's see or do I want to make this one green I think I'm going to make this one green. There we go. And this line is just very loose. Doesn't have to be so I'm getting the just the initial colors down and then we'll go back and add little probably on one of them I'm going to add the polka dots and things like that but I don't want to go too crazy with it because like I said I think that was what my issue was last year it just got when I got done with it it was just too busy I'm sorry I'm holding this up It was just green straight out of the bottle. And I'm working on my new Tim Holtz um, glass board. And this paint will just wipe right off, which is really good. I think I'm going to put a little bit of water on this just to spread it out a little bit. stick that in the water and we're going to work on this one while that one dries a little bit um so I want to go with a light brown I'm going to get my mixing cups out this time because I've got to get better at using these mixing cups because I wait. We're just going to start on this. Um, it's going to be the black and white stripes. Let's see. We're going to have black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black. Um, so I want to start with white. White, black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white. Okay. Get us a small, medium size, I guess medium size. So I'm just going to do the black right now and then I'll do the white on top of it. Where's my black? At this point, I'm going to speed it up. Y'all can just enjoy the music because I'm just going to do every other one.
so I decided to put um, checkerboard instead of stripes so what I did is I went in with my ruler and measured just like for these stripes and put the tape and so I'm going to use tape because I'm going to be lazy so I'm just going to go in and now we're going to paint it this way and make sure that you go this way or you don't want to go in towards the tape because you're going to go under the tape and so I'm going to add a little bit of water just to make it flow a little better I just went in towards the tape so don't do that. So you can go start at the tape and go that way or go up and down on the side but don't go in towards the tape. Which I'm not too worried about crisp lines. Um, so. Alright. Let's go. water So I'm going to let this dry and let these continue to dry and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to take these um, tape, tape pieces off a little bit so I can um, dry it um, further. I just wanted to kind of show it on tape. Oh my goodness. That's like a workout. Alright, we got the sponge here. And I think I'm going to use this brown glitter. Let me get a big piece of paper. Well, yeah, I'm going to get a big piece of paper. So we can. So I'm gonna just use what's in oh, there's a piece of hair. All right, let's start here. There. I'm gonna pour just a little bit in there. the 
side here. Um, go up the side here. Get a full one here. Go up the side there. Let's see how that looks. This one in there. Just gonna pour quite a bit on it. I saw at Hobby Lobby a cool little device that vacuums up your glitter. And I thought that was so cool. those covered up. I'm just going to spread it around and kind of pack it down on these. And hopefully this paint's dry. really good. Take a clean brush and just kind of go around the edges. so cute. All right. I'm not a hundred percent happy with this green. I think I might change it to the lighter green. Ooh. No, I don't want to make it too close. I might change it to this green. It just isn't, it's like shiny or something. I don't like it. I need a brush. Oh yeah, that's much better. Much better. Yeah. 
that other green just wasn't complementing this other color. Okay, I'm back real quick. Um, so I went over these glitter dots with Mod Podge and I'm going to put another layer of glitter just because I could see blank spots. And I just use a little paintbrush, the one that I was using to brush off the excess glitter. And just put the Mod Podge right on top of the existing glitter. And I'm going to go in. This Mod Podge is a little bit deeper. A little bit thicker, I should say, not deeper. Tip it up and dust it off. There. Alright. I bought some new containers. So I bought these containers, um, it's so you can mix your own glitter, but I'm going to use it because I cannot get the glitter back into this container, it's the way it's shaped, so we're going to put it into this little container. Just tap the bottom of it. Alright, I'm really going to let this dry now. I'm going to let it just sit for about a half an hour. So, we'll be back. Okay, I'm back. This has had a chance to dry. And to get all the excess glitter off, I got one of these big brushes. And I'm just going right over it. There's some that just stuck in the paint, and I have to decide whether or not I want to paint over it, or if I'm just going to let it stay for character. Um, but I do think that I will paint over it, because it's um, I can see through it, so it's not a good coat of paint. Okay, we're back. So... I put another coat of paint on everything. I brightened the orange just a bit and I painted the sides and I cleaned up my utensils. Now we're going to go in and see if this white pasta marker will clean up these squares. If not, I'm going to have to paint them. So. Let's hope. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Mm. I don't know.
think it's going to be good enough. I mean, it is going to be hanging on a door. It's not like people are going to really see it close up. Unless they come to the door. Um... I think this is going to be good enough. it too glossy but I'm gonna put a gloss over the whole thing so let's see how this does I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and just at the top of every one of these a line at the top with the Posca marker. if I should go around all of it. Hmm. I don't think so. Okay. Now let's take this white back again. Just go right down here. And we're going to go right here. I'm going to go here. Here. Alright. I'm going 
go on the side of every just have fun with this. I mean, I'm just really just making it up. Um, this green is very dark and so I think I'm going to put that there. I don't like that. Let me see if I can get that off. Let's wet one real quick. Yay. All right. Um. These where the hangers are going to be. Let's put little, let's see, I guess I could freehand it. I'm going to put little bubbles. Quickly lines. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of black around that. Harry. You really cannot see the black. Oh, that was supposed to be there. Okay. I think I'm going to call it done. I'm going to let this dry and then I am going to um, cover it with a glaze and we'll be done. Um, I will put a burlap string on it 
I might put some bows um, or some ribbon. So this completes this project. It was nice and easy and I think fun and it will look cute on my door. I will take a picture of the final product and post at the end of the video. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you will give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed and turn on your bell notifications, please do if you enjoy this content. Um, and have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.